Welcome back, everyone, to The Witcher 3. Um, we continue the Blood and Wine DLC today. Yennefer gave us a quest uh, to go find some stuff from a professor, as well as some other side quests and things that we've got going on. We've also got some recommendations to go get, like, some Grandmaster armor. I don't know exactly where all of these things are. We are kind of going with the flow for a bit um, until we get back onto our main part of this quest. So I'm excited, and here we go. Alrighty, search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory in the flooded ruins of the Valley of the Nine. Yes, Geralt soon discovered he not only wished to find Professor Moreau's- Oh, not only he wished to find Professor Moreau's laboratory. When the Witcher reached the cemetery, he found the professor's grave had been dug up and the journal was nowhere to be found. So we gotta go find a river, or- Yeah, we, we followed a map to a river and we're on a whole- whole journey. So- Here's our main quest, and now we have a fancy scroll that gives us authority, and uh, we also are waiting for our money, as well as uh, our house to be fixed up a bit, so here we go. Gorgeous place, though, like my goodness. Um, I think we are going diving, yeah? Take it easy. Yeah. Come on, girl, faster. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not who I... Please target the correct one. Okay, or just hit any of them, maybe? Any of them would be good. Any of them would be a good target to hit. Successfully. There we go. See? That's good. There we go. Okay, go back to the surface. Catch your breath, Geralt. And then we go back down. Well, this is cool down here. This is like a whole sunken area. Five gold, five orans. Come on. go in here? Hang on. We need the, the potion to help us with breathing. I do not remember at all which one that is. I thought it was down here, but it might not be anymore. So, I don't know. We will find it someday. Here it is. Oh, it is. Okay, it's right at the top. That's difficult. weird. Okay, guess we didn't need it. Hmm. Brave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Well, let's see. Going mining? No, I meant to jump. I meant to jump. Ouch. Everything's fine. I didn't step on any spikes. Nope. Okay. You have to be fast. Faster! the water not going through the portal. I was kind of assuming that we were going to come out into some water on the other side, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. 
it's extra magic. Oh, can't quick save. I, I, my instincts were telling me, I'm like, uh-oh, time to save. It's not soon enough. Okay. Yeah, looting dimeridium always always good. <gasps> Do you even have your form 202? Okay, wait, no. Okay, this is not the right way. Hang on, that is not the way I thought. I was like, why is there nothing to find? I was going this way. That's good. What did it want me to find back here? It wants me to find something here? Hang on. Oh. Oh, it does. with the Panthers, to be fair. A lot of good loot in here. Have to say. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Furthermore, on the advice of engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I've installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed up high on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, you must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose, and then you must find a way to press them. Um, yeah, does he say, like, hmm. Panther. Huh? Oh my god. Crap. Didn't I just do this? No. I was, like, expecting it, and it's still, okay, that's good. I just was not expecting it to come flying from, like, behind me. Well, got him. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Button. Hey, look at me pressing buttons. Four protruding stones. Is this gonna press them somehow? Crossbow, maybe. Okay, okay. Could can I hit them? Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Can I? Can I go? Let me go. I don't think they're gonna let me go. Dang it. Let me see. So, did I press all of the buttons? So I pressed two of the buttons. Here's another button. The last button's all the way over there. All right, crossbow time. 
Show me what you got. Ah, Wait, did it. what is that? Loot? Ooh. Gold casket? Is that what I just looted? Weird. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Hmm. Impressive. It's just decoration. I'm assuming not. Okay. Oh, ow. Yeah, figured as much. I mean, yeah. Didn't seem to stop him at all. Diamond necklace. I'm supposed to like keep it. Oh, there we go. Gargoyle pop. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. Portals! Geralt's favorite. Um. Die that time. Neat. All right. Now to find the next portal. Yeah, which is what I. Okay, so now I have to go back down here and go up this way. Got it. All right. Now to find the next portal. Where's she pointing? She's pointing that way. Or wait, uh, yeah, this one. Nice, Must nice. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Grab all of these things. I will take all of my loot. The statues. Yes, I was like, wait, they seem to be pointing somewhere. Because I kept going behind the statues, and that kept not working. Crystals. And so. Should mount them in the megascope. <laughs> Missing good. two crystals. Missing two crystals. All right, we need some crystals. Just need to pick an entry. Wait, 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 wait. What? An entry? What? The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Uh... Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. 
So, huh. Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations. Wanted to reverse them. Yeah. Wonder if he managed. And if there's anything in it for me. Okay, so I need to go get the crystals. Crystal for this entry is missing. Well, can I look around? It's not giving me the option to look around yet, so let's see. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing. Invasive. Hmm. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Okay, let's see the fifth entry, I guess, because we can't. Crystal for the. Right, I would love to look around, but it's not letting me, so let's see. Number five. No, I don't think Geralt wants to reverse his Witcher mutations, you know? Years of experiments. I think you just want to enhance them. Be such sacrifice. All for naught. Seems like he didn't. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. But I meant to cure him of his Witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength. Oh. Rendered him yet more inhuman. So sorry, that's a bummer for your Richard son. Forever. But I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Oof. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're summarizing. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. I would love to look Here's around the more. Albumins of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. All right, so let's look around more. Let's find those crystals. Crystal. Hang on. Before I start looting the other stuff, I want to find. Crystals. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Moreau must have kept his son in here. Grim. Yeah, thanks. Need to pick an entry. There we go. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Hmm.
Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. So does that help? Okay, so hopefully that should help. Seen enough. So-called giant centipedes, or my only comfort in exile. Dearly I have paid for my wrongs. Being exiled from the beautiful deserts and steppes of Ophir to this hideous green country where all the scents and flavors are so intense they make me sick, fills my heart with sorrow and regret. My only comfort seems to be a small colony of scolopendros, or most, more scientifically speaking, scolopendromorphs, here referred to as giant centipedes, living in the vicinity of my hut. These wonderful creatures, the sight of which reminds me of home, have most certainly, ch have most likely chosen this area to settle in because of the presence of shale mars, whose droppings constitute the food of smaller animals, which in turn are consumed by the centipedes. Sometimes I sneak up on them when they are feeding and admire their hooked limbs, mandibles so sturdy they seem made of iron. Why, why is he... Is he gonna use them, I guess? Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Yeah, same. Huh. Looks like that opens. Intriguing as machinery goes. But how do I start it up? Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Creepy. Looks like he experimented on a lot of people trying to say this son. Yikes. Okay, nothing there. Uh -huh. Mom's awake and she's not in If I have any new alchemy recipes for any of the new stuff that we're dealing with. bleed out or something. Thank you. Oh, there's the other. So there was another one. I was wondering. I was like, what? Why? And then you find
Gross. I don't like those. Yurden was the key. Oh, Yurden would have been a good call, just like regular Yurden. Well, we lived anyways, so that's good. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> um, where was I going? This way? Hard to tell which way is forward. I don't think that's forward. It's this way. Also, let me see if I can meditate here. Acquire the abdomen, so I need to... What? Yeah, I must need to keep going. Let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's more. Oh, cool. Well, at least we got a refill on the healing. I'm trying. Enough of that. Okay, meditate even more. Just thank you. Yep, finally getting the red mutagens. Yes, I should take a look at those in uh, in a moment here. Well, welcome everyone. Sure, welcome, welcome all. Yurden, I I specifically just said I was going to use Yurden, didn't I? And then I didn't use Yurden. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I appreciate the way back. That's nice. Get undressed and activate his contraption. Oh, geez. Okay. Good luck, Geralt. Best of luck. No point in his machine wearing full gear. gear. Oh, and the weapons? I start to drop my armor, leave my weapons. <sighs> Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Here we go. This is kind of terrifying. Good luck, Geralt. Good luck. Okay, that was like fairly anticlimactic. I was like, expecting him to like scream or something. Like, I don't know. Um, okay, you've unlocked the mutation system. Mutations let you gain new capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. To learn more, open the character panel. Okay, all right. Geralt show emotion. I mean, he says, ouch. He said, you know, not even like gonna, gonna swear or anything like, Guess it didn't hurt. A few moments later. Oh, we also need our crossbow. 
Seven and nine, nine hundred eleven damage. Cool. Hmm. The power cell for portals feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Haha. -ha. Well, all right. Wait, yeah, mutations. So is that? Mutations panel? You must first research them. Choose one of the available mutations. Okay. Each stage unlocks an additional ability slot. Okay, so... Must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens. Oh! Advanced mutations, do the basic ones first. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna wanna start with the sign stuff. Let me see, signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increase with sign intensity. Currently 46% chance to deal an additional 257% damage. Well, that's kinda huge. Opponents killed by critical hits from signs explode. Okay, love that. Love that. Okay, this is sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. Also, lovely. Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 3% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Maximum of 522%. Okay, wow. I want the sign thing. I want that. I want critical sign hits. That's cool. I did it. Activated. One mutation at a time. Okay. The strengthened synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations. As it does, it unlocks additional ability slots. Wait. I just wanted to see. Okay, so... And then this... I can research. When the Ard sign is cast, it additionally has a 30% chance of freezing enemies. This chance scales with your available adrenaline points. Enemies knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Wow. And enemies who are not frozen are dealt an additional 4,000 damage. That's pretty neat, too. We'll have to get there. So, an additional ability slot. So, if I research a second one... So, hang on. So, if I do... So, is this using my ability points? Yeah, that's what it looks like, right? Okay, so we're gonna need to go do, a, like, a respec soon and go get back some of these uh, ability points that we're not using. We have the stuff for it. Let's try. So, does that also act... Okay, so... I have an extra ability slot. The color of the ability you activate in the extra slot must match the color of the active mutation. Advanced mutations, distinguished by their yellow color, require multiple types of mutagens, but allow you to use any abilities from the combat signs or alchemy groups. Okay. So, that means... And that's what I'm wondering if I wanted to do... Something like throwing this back on there? But if I did, I don't know exactly where I'd put it. So that's my Axie dialogue options. I could consider replacing that. We haven't used that in a long time. I might replace that. We can always swap that back in if that becomes a thing. Well, okay, wait. So the whole thing- wait, wait, wait. Well, the whole thing is now is I can have extra, so I can also put that back. Wait. But is there something else I want? Is kind of now my question. Yeah, I guess let me just put that there. Interesting. All right. I was not sure how this was going to work. That's pretty cool. Cool. Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, give a save there. 
Oh. Time to leave the lab? I think we got everything we need. Sweet. Oh yeah, back in the water. Forgot. Where am I? Different spot. So, I'm not trying to go there. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go... Where now? I don't know. Probably here. Tradition has sanctified two codes of contact in Tucson. The teachings of the Prophet Labiota and the chivalric principles which guide its knights. These latter call for young men to prove their abilities through feats of daring during tourneys. One such knight, Guillaume, sought to stand out from the rest by fighting a Shalmar and was injured as a result. Afterwards, he pleaded with Geralt to visit him in the medic's tent. Then he had a very urgent matter to discuss. I mean, yeah. It was apparently urgent and I didn't go, so we can go help him. Hey, a barber, I've been looking Fearing for one of those. Was right and fair. Cold. Welcome, my good sir. Need Geralt needs grooming. some more whimsical hair. Is this the classic Geralt haircut? Let me see. I think it is. That's better. Clean shave. It, it grows out so fast. Taking care of Geralt. My time's up. So long. Alright, Geralt has his hair back. I love it. <coughs> I pledge my love to win the tourney. With your name on my lips. Oh. But what if another knight proves victorious? She's like, really? Many a valiant man has entered the list this year. If it be so, then I pledge to remain silent and not remove my helmet until I fulfill my first pledge to you next year. Really? By my throat, it is the Witcher who saved us from woe. I saved you? I did? How fares your health, sir? Welcome. A fruitful hunt to you. Is he like proposing? Or, yeah, I guess. I guess that's their version. Did you kiss uh, a sweet shining sun? You have Gwent cards? Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. She has some Gwent. Hang on. Cards so first. kind as to show me what you have to sell. Zoop. Gwent. Big money. A round of Gwent, maybe? Drink and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Leviota. <sighs> Anything we want to use here? I did want to swap out Dandelion. He's not necessarily the most useful for our deck as it is now. Um... Throw this guy back in there. For now. Have I tried out the new deck yet? Nope, don't have enough cards yet. Cow. Okay, so not a bad start, but I'd like to try for another spy here. So we're gonna. Swap out one of these. Okay. Alright, it's okay, because this spy is gonna give me another another spy. Here we go. Uh, Okay, it's fine. It's gonna give me another spy after he plays that one, and then I decoy that.
Come on, I got this. Might as well just try to win this round. I don't really have this one as easily as I normally do these days, so I'm just gonna throw that. How do I wanna do this? Um I guess I could throw these two down and that would like be helpful. No, let me just start here. I don't think I ever adjusted the Gwent difficulty, so it should just be the default. I'll just kind of keep playing. I'm not, like, up enough cards from them to, like, just give this, you know? You didn't think that the hard difficulty was that much? Okay. Good to know. This guy here. I have a couple of medics, so I don't really need to hesitate too much. So I'm gonna use a five and a six. I can't use one of these sixes though. Oh, I didn't fully think that through. Um, so I have my two medics, which is something I can keep in mind. I think I clear weather and use that. I think I use some clear weather and just don't deal with that. Huge. Okay. Hmm. Rude. All right, so I have two medics. So I can bring back, like, Olgeard and, like, this dude? If I want to do that. I can medic the spy if we go to a third round. That is a very good point. I may want to consider just letting that happen then. Um, I 
I might just put this down. Or I just put down the six. Doesn't really matter, honestly. I'll just put down the six. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. That's annoying. I've already used my clear weather ability. Um. possibility I could consider. I could consider throwing down this medic. Reviving the cow? And then depending on the third turn? That's plus eight. That's like plus more than any of these other ones. So I feel like Then I'd still, but then I'd be losing out on the medic itself. It's a plus five, so I don't think it's actually as worth it because I'd be losing out on the plus five. So, uh, never mind. I think. I think I just let them have that. so much for the uh, for the sub and welcome on in to our witchery coven thank you thank you appreciate it okay well i either have to just fully go all out right here or i wait until the next round so i feel like i wait here and i use the spike i'm going to i'm going to do that Another spy, come on, some more. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Another commander's horn, that's really not what I needed, but we did get a, hang on, I can use that spy. Hang on. Okay, okay. This is lining up interesting. We're gonna roll with this. of them to use that clear weather right now. They were stalling incorrectly. Okay, that's good. I'm satisfied. 
Yennefer, Yennefer doesn't need to get involved. <laughs> Watching your playthrough has been such a fun combo mix of cozy and violence. Thank you, thank you. That's, I suppose, the goal? <laughs> Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Well, we're, we're getting better at Gwent here. I just... <laughs> I'm just forever gonna look back, um, just, I don't know, with a, with a fondness on our, our first game of Gwent when I used all my cards in the very first round. That was so good. <laughs> We've come a long way. Music? Yes, I have. Witches, I have a matter of prime urgency and import. Yes. I must speak to you. Prime urgency, yes. Greetings. Your wound. Feeling better? Okay, wait. Actually, prime emergency? This cat. Thank you, him. He's just upside down. Yeah, you're gonna give me... I wish I could, like... Yeah. Oh, the camera! Focuses on him a little bit better when I look away. Oh. He's just upside down. It's very cute. Okay, okay. Anyways. Back to, back to the game. It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That's an help. That could very well be the case. He's like, well... You see, there is a maiden. Nay, a lady. A I maiden? I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Mm. Not a curse. Bet I can guess her symptoms? What does that mean? Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night oh. before she was flirtatious and alluring. Oh. Tut tut, Witcher. You <laughs> jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. Cursed? What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. What? Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? What do you mean? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were. One huh? evening, I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track Will each you, like, time. stop following her? It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Uh... Sound might not have been as strange as you remember. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. An unnatural sound. Okay, uh, and anything else? Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk That's gossip... That's crazy why she would do that. What about? They say she's secretive, <laughs> that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wanted to suddenly Okay, disappear. well, it sounds like she is up to something mysterious, Nothing unusual but... about any of that. Like, maybe? 
Or maybe she's literally up to nothing. I don't know. She's either just casually doing a thing or she's doing her own thing and he just happens to like not want to leave her alone while she's just doing something strange, I guess. I don't know. Let's find out. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learned, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named the tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take mm -hmm. my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, Is there and fencing. A gold prize? I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet. Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. So. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally, I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Starting at 500, that's nice. Give me like 575. 600? 595, come on. Agreed. Hey. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Okay. Um. So you put it 595, suddenly it's fine. 600? Fine. No. I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Don't need any practice, don't need to train, like what? I don't, is this worth doing? Or should I just tell him, nah, I, we got this. I feel like we got this, right? Like, I don't know, maybe. Train, okay, let's see, target practice. All right, Marksmanship, I feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. He's like, I don't know what you were talking about, but okay. Hit the red targets. Okay. Looks like I need to be manually aiming for this. Yes. Bam. Zoop. Once more. It's good. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Okay. Let's go. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Oh, for Roach. Come with me. Anything for Roach. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. 
You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in so the arena. So my strategy of blocking the, the opponent track, won't however, work? lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Did I? That's fine. <laughs> I've played many horse games. I'm, I'm prepared for this. I'm ready. See if they throw something different at me, but hopefully we've got this. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The oh. time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this okay, contest so and that's hang the whole his thing. head in shame. I see. That's During the race different. proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Okay. Holding down an attack button will trigger a slow motion mode, which makes it easier for you to strike your target. Geralt will decide for himself which side to attack from based on your enemy's location. Holding down the aim button will trigger a slow motion mode. When the mode is active, Mega Roach will maintain her speed, so you do not need to hold down the gallop button. That's nice. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 what? No, I... Oh, oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Is that, did I? I, this is why we're practicing. Hey, I did it. Oh my. Oh no, that's the wrong, hang on, hang on. That doesn't seem very slow motion. What is this about Roach keeping her speed? Okay, we try again, we try again. Where's the things I need to shoot? Is that over here, it looks like? Okay, that's what I kept expecting. Okay, that I can do. Let's try again. Oh no. Will you give it another go? I can set up more dummies. Yes. No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. All right. I can do this. Hey, I did it. I did the thing. I did the thing. I'm proud. Ready? Hey? Hey? Oh goodness. Oh goodness! Of course, now I mess up this one. I got these like perfectly last time. And now that's what I mess up. It's difficult. All right, it's okay, I've got this. Whoop. There we go. Did I get it? I did. It's fine. <laughs> this is easier on PC. I can see that, yeah, than on the controller. So, have you had enough? Keep or do mouse. you wish to ride again? I think I'm good. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. The targets are to add time. Okay, so don't waste time getting them is the point, I think. So combat training. I think that's enough for now. Right? Like, I don't think... Yeah, combat sounds simple. So uh, I'll figure it out. Trained enough, I think. High time we saw to your Vivian. She's not mine. Not yet. 
Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Okay, scrolls must be in order, yes. Let's go. You know, I to used to get into to archery uh, when I was enough. younger. I I think I asked for a bow and arrow for Christmas one year. It was like the big, big deal, the big gift. I got like a, I got a compound bow. It was like a full, it was an actual bow. It was not the easiest to like pull back and everything. And it was a lot of fun. I was getting like somewhat good at it. But that was, that feels like a different life. <laughs> Come over here. No, I'd love to keep doing some of that stuff someday. I, I know I've talked about it before, but I'd love to someday get to ride some horses again. What is this? Helmet. Hmm. All right. Well, tournament time. Note from the tourney scribe. The list of all the people entering. Due to injury, Gaum has transferred his place in the tourney to another knight. Hmm. Palmerin's nephew. Yes, in okay. In return to traditional values and morals, that is the remedy for Toussaint's problems, not two swords. I will fight you with my two swords, hmm? Greetings. Want to join the list? Leaderboard, got it. Naturally. We must first see two formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up That's... with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? We get to choose? Uh, what do you- what? Is it- Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. Mm -hmm. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga, but I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Havetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. Hmm. Fun. Sounds kind of fun. Um... From season one of the show. Oh. Should I do that? Should I be Sir Ravix? Watch Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Welcome and thanks for joining. I will have to do an honor mode playthrough. Yes. I don't know exactly when, but soon. I mean, yeah, we are Geralt. I don't know. I don't have enough his like I don't have full context for that, so let's let's join as Geralt. You are Geralt? Nah. I'm Geralt. Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. Hmm. In that case, thanks. They're like, no. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Vows? You say something about vows? 
As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Hmm. Prizes? Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. So I think I know about the challenges, but tell me any anyways. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at okay. any given moment. Okay. Leadership board. Cool. Convenient. All right. Sounds great. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. What are we vowing? Upon what would you like to swear it? On the heron, on my lady's love. On her high, illustrious highness's garter. No. On the heron, on my lady's love. I mean, yeah, let's... Come on, for Yennefer. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. Oh. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, all right, now we you better not be mess up. With appropriate armor for the tourney. The stakes are high. We're doing it for you her. Shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Shall we begin? Oh. Nice. Done. Congratulations on your future. Right, Edward Clan, Doc's nipples, get them while they're hot. Spiral pig's ears, red songs on sale now. Come and get them. So none of those sound normal, but one is worse. Oh. Speak to one. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I like. Maybe this year. All right. Quick save. Wow, that's some armor. That's a look. Bye. Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? No. All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Renfan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no oh. less. As if that oh, would aid no. his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nefgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. 
Makes no difference to me either way. Or will it give you any pleasure? Since as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Gwent. Gwent. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Uh... I'm suspicious of that, but he said Gwent, so sure. Never turn down a round of Gwent. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. Got another spy. Easy. I'll well, put the Gaunter and the Shadow cards. I didn't really love how it felt with this deck, but... Might not be a bad call now. We'll see. <coughs> um. Here we go. Just have some medics. And we got a cow. No decoy though, so that's kind of unfortunate. Unlucky. They just passed right there. All right. I guess I just throw down a six. I suppose. Oh, I could have scorched. That was another option too. Interesting. Just went on this round. We'll see. Isn't this music just wonderful. Hmm. Okay. So I have a decoy in case we need that. I also have another medic in case we need to bring back a Vesemir. Thank you so much for that sub, and welcome to our Witchery Coven here. I appreciate the support so, so much. Hope you're having a good week, and just thank you again for that support here, and hope you like the emotes and all. Siri card. Um... Yeah, I think we just kind of keep on going. Scorch.
Gonna use Biting Frost, huh? Okay, we'll see if we want to clear that up or not. So far, we're just kind of going. Yeah, I'll probably definitely be... I will likely be using my clear weather here in a minute, but we'll see first. Here's my question is, is uh, am I committing to this round? Yeah, the rain is very helpful for now, right? Once you play the siege and the horn in that row without getting scorched. Yes. Yeah, the six that we have right here is currently protecting our scorch. Committing to this round. I'm kind of committing to beating him here, so let's go. opportunity right now. I can see if he plays another one. I'm gonna wait one more time. And then see. Make him run out of cards. That's fair before clearing the weather. that opportunity. Neat. Helpful. Eh. Worth it. Worth it entirely. Uh, so now I just clear this up, right? A third round that time. You. We shall swap our ah, yes. We're, why were we doing this? We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Fithian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. It's time. Fair knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rithia, there we go. give us a bow. <laughs> It was a bow. The targets he must with his quarrel thread are red. May the better man win. Girl just staring blankly.
All right, ready? Here we go. Wait, which what? Wait, red, right? Yes. Like a lover ghostly gasping, but one fair we got teeth. This. Girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter Woo! defeat. The Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Yes, immersed in woe. Indeed. Your prize, sir. Oh. A crossbow adorned with your crest. Oh. I congratulate you. How nice. Thank you, my lady. What are the other prizes? I'm gonna go find out when I win them, all right? I hope the other prizes involve more Gwent, right? <laughs> My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Except my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. What is going Let on here? Go. Something is going on here, and it's suspicious. I suppose let's go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Hoot like an owl. Thank you. That's, that's good. Alright, so this is a whole involved quest, far more than I expected, but I mean it was kind of related to the main thing, so I guess it it tracks. Um, just this this game constantly surprises me with, with stuff like this, so. Anyways, um and the charming fairy tale that she for which Toussaint commonly passes, love blooms and erupts into flames faster than any other corner of the known world. I know what I say, for I too experienced my share of beautiful, passionate moments there with the painfully lovely Duchess Anna Rietta, no less. Yes, we heard Dandelion. She was asking about you. But to return to Geralt's adventures, he agreed to assist a young knight with his troubles in relation to a striking young lady-in-waiting named Vivienne. The youth, lacking experience in love's games, its ruses and deceits, was feverish and suspected that the lofty and inaccessible object of his love might have fallen victim to an evil spell. So we've agreed, and here we are. He chose the immensely original moniker, Geralt of Rivia. Dandelion's impressed. Oh, fair Vivian. A bit bad. Thou hast Duff's eyes within thy locks. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy two breasts are like... Mm. Anyways. Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic could work here. The scratches? Is that Claw what Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Odd. I want some fancy food, sounds great. I want some fancy cheeses. Every time I see cheese in this game, I want cheese. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Oh my. and salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Someone approaches. Quickly. You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak hoot, later. Hoot. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my latest tent? Inspiration? You're trying to get us caught here? from here. 
Is he trying to get us caught here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, we are, we are currently getting yelled at for investigating this tent. She's like, all right, uh, off limits. Tourney business, nothing of import. He didn't even hoot like an owl. He had one job. Come on, Guillaume. This DLC is just so vibrant and beautiful. Dragon's eyes on a stick. Come and get it. Sounds like they have some interesting, unique bear foods. Drink, mess him, he eat, drink, and make merry. For tomorrow, the beast will devour us all. Okay. Behold, gallant knights and ladies, decorous. Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longthal. Lead us of Metida. Renfarn of Atra. Is our medallion going to do the thing again? I feel like it is. Yadimir of Troy! Weird vibes. In service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiao. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Geralt of Rivia! For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer! The faint fire of silence, tawny champion from last year! Very rhyming. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe! Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? Uh, I don't think so. How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Oh, your knighthood came Rude. through the grace of my mother, me, Queen of Lyria. Yeah, and then Rivia, have some respect for her decision. Who will deserted mere days later? Oh. Your presence here is an offense to my honor, oh. and yours is an offense to my eyes. Huh? If you're done, step aside, Prince. <laughs> okay. The tourney's protector. The mate Vivian. She's got weird vibes right now. Beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Yeah. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Do, do, do. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. All right, we ready, guys? Is that Volo's voice? It sounds like it. Girl, he's up. Go, crouch. All right, I can do this. Pressure's on. All right, that was great. Missed the first one. Good news. Okay, running down the river. What's next? What do we got next? You're joking! Oh, I might actually need to go back and get that one. Uh-oh, let's see if we can make it. Ooh, I am cutting it close here. Okay, good. I at least got that one. Go, Geralt!
I'm doing so bad. Oh my god. And he's up! We the thunder saw who pounds the ground. No legion of drummers could make such a sound. Whatever. I'm gonna do my best here. Why couldn't they've just stuck to one or the other? I'll go shoot all the targets, gosh dang it. Trying to make me do this? Am I sure I'm cut out to be a knight? No, I'm not. I'm not. Come on. Thank you! Oh my god. We got one, you guys. It's a big deal. There is hope yet. Did that not even... Okay, whatever. Okay, but that wasn't even close. Whatever. Okay, let's go this way. Goats. Move! No, I'm hitting the goats. Oh, and I missed the thing. It's fine. Whatever. Who cares about the thing? I uh, maybe really needed to care about the thing, actually. You're not serious! We're still in it. We're still in it. What a pleasure, a treat yes. indeed. Yes, take notes, everyone. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. Example A. The finest of wine and fruit shall be served. If what not to do. If you blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. Woo! Bernstra! I congratulate you. Here, your price. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? Why? No idea. That's so How weird. Juvenile. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. Do you really regret we that? We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead okay. the way. Okay. Hey, Finch, thank you. Appreciate the bits and support. Beautiful. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. 
Let us drink. Um. I feel like that's not a good idea, but. Why not? To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, oh, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. <laughs> What? Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. Is it? I demand satisfaction. Huh? Head to the nearest brothel then. It... Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge. Mounted combat. Can we use our crossbow? Some other time I'm busy. I'm tempted to hit him with the some other time I'm busy. I'm gonna, like, I, <laughs> I'm tempted to hit him with it. <laughs> um. Hmm. There's a small chance of a permanent glitch with the saddle. Weird. Sure. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. Did we desert? May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over How does with. this work? Quick. Three, two, one. Move it. <laughs> that's about how that would go. Yeah, that sounds about right. Not bad. Hey, I got a critical hit. I'm doing good at this. I'm doing so good. <laughs> I just the, the two people fighting this, like expecting like a whole joust and then just seeing this. <laughs> Get wrecked. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say you had a secret mission set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature until you did? Something like that. Pretty much. Minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Not nice. glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. This has been quite a quite a side quest. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for okay. each and every one of you. Big fight tomorrow. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion. She's the lady we're the trying to help him out with. Gregoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate 
Make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. We go confront her? Okay. Just and true. That grey dome scoundrel ever seeking Lady Vivian. Some kind of maniac. <laughs> Can't pull one over. Geralt, me, the maniac. I can see you're a kid. Um, Vivian. Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Expenses. Magic cream. What? Also, day, did I equip my new crossbow? Geralt of Rubio's crossbow. Excellent. Hello? Is she in the water? Oh, oh, a bird. Oh, what? Flew off. Worth going after. Oh. Uh... Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Okay. Following the bird. Where'd the bird go? Oh, here we go. Uh... Very mysterious. Very magical. I like it. Where's the bird? Gosh dang it, we're losing the bird. We're losing the bird. Right there. Panthers. Uh oh, bird, 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 bird. No, art is crazy powerful. Uh, that stench. How did that not stop the panther? Okay, that was just like weird, weird timing. Okay, gotta find the bird, gotta find the bird. So many panthers, oh my gosh, why are there so many panthers? Leave me alone. Here we go. Always a cave. Always is, isn't it? Cool. Hang 
on. Something is breaking. Bam. There's something in there that I didn't find. That's okay. Yeah, it didn't really seem a lot quicker. No. Over here. Where are we? Witcher. Ooh. Lady Vivian. Bird lady. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you. Uh, then I wanted them here. Oh, she thinks that we were just hunting in her. In this very spot. With That's no not witnesses. What we were Want what done? Why you are a witcher. Yeah, she thinks we're trying you to kill were her. to kill me, will you not? Then no. do so. Now. And oh, do it this quickly, guy likes I you, you, okay? I shan't resist. Witchers I, only hunt quite a monsters. Beak. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Bird lady. I don't know. Only thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone. Hope to learn more, though. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Uh. Should I say that I swear? I don't know if I can swear it, but like, I can. I'm not trying to turn on her, so like, that's. Fair. Oh, I hope I don't regret saying it. Come on. I swear to help I you. I will be discreet. I swear this on the heron. You mock me. No, it's just you want reassurances. Oh, you mock me. Too Oops, many. I didn't think about that. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Uh, so be it. I like, well, okay, I guess. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Oh. Such is my wish. So she was born with this. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not Hi, theirs. Ozzie. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, <laughs> you in your chair? it I'm claimed sorry. their unborn daughter as its own. Oh. Yeah, what kind of creature are we talking? <laughs> Some cat rivalry right now. Gio's in the chair and Ozzy is very mad. Oh no, poor Ozzy. I'm sorry, I'll have to get you with another chair. My apologies, my apologies. Parents ever describe the creature? Come here. They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. I mean, that's fair. So... Then... What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, 
but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Oh, she thought Perhaps she was going to die. Be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. Oh, for I fear that is what lies in store. Looks like looks like Ozzy won the the chair standoff here. Did you kick out Dio? Poor guy. <clears throat> yes, I see you. I know. Pets. Here, I'm gonna do the cat cam. That helps lift up the camera too. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, curses. We know what to do about that. You use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. <laughs> I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. Huh. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. Huh. So there is another. Yeah, what's the other way? Quick to reject help. I. Another way. All right. There is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences. What? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. Oh. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free That's fair. life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, I mean, I that's see fair. why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's go. Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. Fancy. Girl, you can special. change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Huh. Mm. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Have some relevance. Come. Huh. Now her bird form is beautiful. It's really cool. It's a cool design that they came up with. I like it. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. I don't think you know her very well. She doesn't know you very well. Um... I'm... 
I promised her I wouldn't tell unless it's necessary, and it is not necessary for him to know. She can tell him. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't told revolve him. around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you. I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? He is or dramatic. Now that you bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need. <sighs> Finish the tournament. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Oh, dramatic. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonful will lead the opposing team. With this yeah, skirmish, this we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. Here we go. The horse race was amazing. Prepare for the uh. knights, the ladies, the lords. <laughs> For our next uh. entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one stops to its knees. Who hurts you ignores, or lance blows unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Yes, indeed. Let us begin. Crowd, race a ruckus. Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Come, succumb to death's embrace. Oh, can I not use my Witcher powers? It doesn't look like it. You chose poorly, Witcher. I think I got the bleed effect on him. I should bleed you like a stuck leak. Look alive! Oh me, oh my! That must have been painful. Like a thorn to the heart. There we go. The words never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Woo! Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. The royal wave, yes. To Geralt of Riffia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials. Each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. 
Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. <laughs> Woo! All right, Vivian, watching over us. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer Kratos harm during combat, have you any last wishes? Any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? <laughs> it's a good question. Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Oh? Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy. Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lost Tony. Here we go. Do we have to come back next year and fight the next turn? Er, I wish both victor? combatants good fortune and fame. They sink the grounds, the titans lock stairs, ferocious and spry as wolves hunting hares. Mesdames et messieurs, our victor, our champion. He's so big. Silent, That's not fair. Gorgon. Hip, hip, hooray. And now a few words from our sponsor. A few words from our sponsor. Tufo. Tufo. Is that supposed to be wine that's good for your teeth? Does that exist? I don't think so. <laughs> the mountain, right? This year's champion! Woo! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! 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 Woo! As patron of this grand tourney, oh, look I at our fancy crown. to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor, and it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory. For Yennefer. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's champion of the arena. Woo! I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk regard you. She's like, hello. Do is wave. Where's the royal wave? Come on. Come on, girl. Woo! Have a little spectacle, you know. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. Okay. It has to be the egg of an Oriole. I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? It's exact course. Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, hmm. and I know damn well it's you. <laughs> Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, he's just curious. I wish I knew exactly what he was gonna say right here because like I kind of want to say like both like I didn't do it but like he's fine right like uh I'll try to I didn't tell him earlier so I'm gonna try to see if he means well it will work Guillaume's no foe though there's little honor in meddling he meant well means well you guessed correctly he was the one to hire me, but only because he wanted to help you. My lady, 
I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish like to you say? Like you're done yet? I, I... I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but <laughs> your, your troubles. I, I only wish the, the witchers see. Out now! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he doesn't even you really know. You showed me I could trust you. I'm sorry. I should have said the first one. I didn't tell him, though. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? He was gonna put the girl. No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. It's gonna this turn him into the, the bird man. I wish to pursue. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> oh, um, that could have gone better, but that's okay. It's it's all right. Need to find an egg, preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? Aww. We'll have to break the egg. Kill a bird, no! Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Yeah, this guy could work on his approach to like helping people. Or when he's in love. He could, he could work on that. We're carrying too much? What are we carrying? What do we have? Oh no! A panther's got at the nest! Stand back. I'll take care of this. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? It's already cracked. Think so. Think so? Uh. Are we sure? Now, what must I do? You can ask her if she's sure, but I'm pretty sure she's just gonna be like, yeah, get on with it. Come on. You need to concentrate now. Repeat after Egg me. Egg magic. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao, Muana Finerat. 
Whoa. Whoa. She seems to have lost her feathers. Is she alive? Is Geralt alive? <laughs> Damn it. Geralt! Look! Look! Oh, gods! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenfurt, to Novigrad even. Thank you, Witcher. Not what happened to the Kion. egg? He's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Do you want to tell him? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should. You don't have but to, like, prefer date him, to but that's convey fair. My gratitude She's like, to yeah, I could, stead. but no. Please, be so kind. Sure. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Good luck to her. What a quest. All right, back to him. Where are we? We need to go back over there. Um, let's go around over here first. There he is. All right, yum. Geralt, what a Vivian. Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done. She did ask me to pass on a message. Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Uh, I'm not gonna tell him the part about how she's possibly gonna die. I'm, I'm just, she's happy. Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. True. Thank you. Well said, Geralt. bard friend. Philosopher like, awesome. too, I guess. You did great. Amateur. Thank you for helping her. He'd so say, she doesn't have to love you. you love somebody, set them free. Oh. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice uh. to yourself. <laughs> Adieu. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Screw you. <laughs> My guy, she told you to run away to the mountains and not come back. I'm just trying to help you out here, okay? <laughs> oh my god. That's good. That was a good... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wonder what the other options would do. Oh my god. That's so funny, right? He's just proven your point. I know, like, my guy. It's like my guy, you're nice, speech. but work Kessa work on it here. <laughs> you can be nice without being owed things. <laughs> oh my. Um. Oh, our house was ready, wasn't it? Hang on, let's go back to our house. Yeah, she doesn't like you. Like, oh no. <laughs> I don't think that lady cared about love right now, to be honest. I think that she was just concerned about living her, her seven years of life to the fullest. Whether or not that involves someone. <laughs> What a beautiful thing here. Okay, let's let's go to our house and let's go see. Has our has our home been renovated a bit? Oh, it's looking it's looking a little better, isn't it? That looks like a fresh coat of paint. So up to any night hey, shot look, it's got a little design. You'll smell the soil to armor at once. What? Okay, this is looking a little bit more like it here. Look at this fanciness. Uh -huh. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. I'm so happy. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other I'm news, saying this is what this game is missing. The laborers dusting out the cellar have made Love a it. most unusual discovery. 
I believe it's something you'll wish to see. What? If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. Is that not really the happy ending for any of them for that quest? Okay, I wonder the different ways that that can go. Yeah, I don't know if I handled it quite perfectly, but... Huh. Optional. Search the cellar. Where is that? Is that... Is our room? Okay, which is good. Where is the cellar? Maybe here? No. I'm trying to like look for a way down. How do I go? Is it out here? Oh, it's the one that I fought the thing in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, down here. Oh yeah. Strange. Something behind this wall, I think. Must have been an alchemist at one time. Ooh. In the lab, you can transform mutagens taken from monsters into their basic version. <laughs> you can take a wraith mutagen into a lesser green mutagen. Oh. You can change their colors. Aha. Uh -huh. That is interesting so like i have a lot of wraith mutagens i don't think i need all those i'll keep like five of them even huh well that's nice i don't know if i need multiple of those hmm. more and more mechanics in this game it's wild to whomever finds this letter my name is Julius Van Gav, and if you are reading these words, I am surely long dead. As befits one of my station and familial con connections, I was sent to study at Vanard, the famed school for mages, yet I was never sent to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic alchemy. It was to that most wondrous of sciences I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life, and the table beside which you now most surely stand is the fruit of those labors of love. If you are a fellow lover of alchemy, I hazard to guess that you will be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, that marvelous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice. Drop this letter, stay away from the table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter up that, after that last paragraph, then you are no stranger to alchemy. Thus, I shall now reveal to you, in a few brief words, the fundamentals of the alchemy table I designed. Leaving aside all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consists of formula and tools for allowing the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. I know that this sounds highly unlikely, but I've proven with almost utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of this transmutation are simple. One must simply make use of the table which I designed. As an expert in the arcane art of alchemy, you certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the hoi polloi who has by accident wandered into this abandoned place, back away! You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not share my formula with the community of alchemists. Well, let us say I have forever been regarded as, regarded as eccentric. Aloof. And I have always believed it is pure chance and not men themselves that determine destiny. Furthermore, I have never sired offspring and have no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded the best solution was to hide my table and trust that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make use of it, whom it shall delight and whom it will prove of great use. Whether I'm right or wrong, time will tell. It's kind of fun. Oh, and you can, like, repl replenish your things there? Bombs and potions gain an extra charge? Oh my. Can I drink some wine? I can drink some wine. Need some more wine. Need to get the vineyard back to its glory. Yeah, what about this room? Looks like they cleaned up the murder scene. I appreciate that. Very, very kind of them. Time to leave. 
Knight Errant and Tourney Champion. Ah, oh, why thank you for addressing me by my full title. I appreciate it. If you sleep in your own bed, you get a buff. I was wondering if that was gonna be a thing. Um, we're carrying too much. Uh, uh, what did I pick up that I shouldn't? Should I just start drinking stuff? No, sorting by weight even. Nothing weighs anything. This stuff weighs something, though. Can I at least just have Geralt go back up here? Whatever, I'm just gonna have him walk back up to the room. <laughs> Stash the saddle. Yeah, I need to go put a couple things away. You know, I don't actually want to take 100 years to walk over there, so I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna drop. Whatever, just take 100 years. Who cares? One eternity later. I don't like this painting here. I'm taking that back. <laughs> <coughs> Any of the trophies that we have? No. No. Okay. Our library. Experience gain bonus applied. We love to see it. How's upstairs? I haven't seen upstairs yet since it's been renovated. Much better. It reminds me of Lydia's room. This literally reminds me of Bree's home and Lydia's little room upstairs. Aw. Lydia. And our little pantry, the little kitchen. It's so cute. Girl, do some cooking. That would be that would be fun. Meow, I know. I I hear you. Oh hi. You are right here suddenly. Hi, I know. <laughs> I think we surprised each other. <laughs> hi. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot to say today. You know that? Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to call it, I think, just a little bit earlier than I would normally because I don't really want to go start a whole other thing. And I think that that's essentially the point that we are at is if we are going to go do a whole other thing. So, yeah, while we wait, uh, we could meditate like or like go to sleep for like a whole other day and wait that week. So we'll see. Um, we'll come back and we'll start here and then we'll pick a quest to go do next because there are like... How many of these secondary quests are there? Do we have already? Like, we have like at least like 10 of these already. And that's not even our contracts. Okay, we only have two contracts, but still. That's a lot of side quests. We're gonna be here a minute, so, all right. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to call it here so that I can try to get online a little bit earlier again tomorrow. Um, I'll be here through Friday this week, Monday through Friday, and then again next week um, with the cooking stream next Saturday, not this one. I'm going to save right there. Cool. 